Well, hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. I have decided to get back in the routine of using my Omnilux contour mask. This is my red light mask that I used in the past consistently and actually saw improvement in my skin texture. And I kind of got off of it for a while, especially when I was trying out that wacky Pal facial fitness device, but I decided I'm gonna get back in the habit of using it because I bought it and it only works so long as you actually use it. So I thought, why not get back into a little routine? This particular device is okay to wear without the eye, without goggles, but if you feel more comfortable wearing it with goggles because the lights are kind of bright, um, but they don't go directly in your eye. But if you feel more comfortable, they do make goggles for this, but I just, I just wear it like this. It's anti-inflammatory and it can help improve skin texture, improve collagen production. So I figured, you know, it's nice. You can just put it on and go about your life. I'm just tidying up the kitchen here. I'm still making my way through this Mrs. Meyers apple cider set. I got this back in the fall and it takes me forever to go through these, but this one smells really good. I don't know about y'all. There's something about me. I don't know what it is, but I seem to like, no matter what, my countertops always get like dusty. And it's like, what am I even doing over here besides preparing coffee that I seem to make such a mess on a daily basis that it requires me to wipe down the countertops all the time. Like I'm barely over here. So I've continued listening to um, The Princess of Las Vegas on Audible. Man, the story is really entertaining me so far. I'm not quite sure where it's gonna go. It takes place around 2020, 2021-ish. So everything they're talking about feels very fresh in our minds. <laughs> I think it's gonna take a really interesting turn though. I'm just, I've been really enjoying this writer's um, style. Recently, I've taken to painting my nails with the OPI Nail Envy Clear Nail Polish. This stuff is so good at, at least temporarily while you have it on, uh, reducing nail breakage. I'm always able to grow my nails out uh, when I wear this. It just keeps them from getting kind of frayed on the ends. Of course, I also do the petroleum jelly at night to my fingers. I swear, that really makes a difference, especially around the cuticle. Nail growth is a slow process. A lot of what does our nails in, you know, is also just repeat exposure to water, re-wetting all the time. For example, if you do dishes by hand, Also, just every time you wash your hands, if you get in the habit of putting at least moisturizer on your hands, not only is that good for your hands, but it also can help the nails. And just like that, it takes no time. So I just need to get back in the habit of using it um, because I did find it really helpful. I'm just putting my sunscreen on. Um, I'm gonna film a video today, I think, of my Sephora sale pick since I know that's gonna be coming up. But this is a sunscreen that I wanna feature. It's from Iris and Romeo. I bought it several months ago, but it's nice and hydrating. The weather today looks gorgeous. I've got to get some work done now on the computer, but hopefully I can get out and about today. Is anyone planning to watch the eclipse? A lot of people are talking about all the traffic surrounding it. If you do watch the eclipse, 100% make sure you wear sunscreen to protect your skin and your eyes. So I came over here to the really big marshals. I need to find some gifts, but they have all of the outdoor stuff out and available. These little frogs would look so cute out by a pool or on somebody's front porch. I love them. I also really like this planter with the lemons. It's pretty. I have a good selection of picture frames here. feel that way sometimes. Okay, I came in here in the dressing room to try on this dress. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of hard to see in this lighting. There, that's better. I 
I have an event to go to this week and I ordered a dress, but I'm worried it's not gonna come here in time. So I need a backup. I feel like this needs something, like a belt or something. There's also this one. I don't know. Obviously not with socks. <laughs> So I didn't end up going with those. They were just not my style. I didn't think they were flattering. And I checked the shipping on the dress I did order and it looks like it'll be here tomorrow, so fingers crossed. Oh, we have a collection of Epsom salts here. These shower steamers. Where was I? And I saw these, they can, they can cause an eyelid dermatitis. Care Bear ones out, pretty cute. This looks like it should smell like creamsicle. <laughs> Marshalls is really coming through with the uh, dental hygiene uh, splurges. Look at this adorable dental floss set. Pinky Sky, six bucks. Those taste like berry. Mm -hmm. What did I tell you the last time I came to Marshall's and I could not find any of these little notebooks when I was looking for them. And I found some eventually, but not like this selection. I swear when I'm not looking for them, they're everywhere. Ooh, I like this one. Very, they all bind together. Oh, that's cool. Like those Hobonichi style, right? Handmade in Italy. Ooh, that'd make a nice gift. Um, I like this mushroom one. $4.99. Sketchbook. Eyeliner collection randomly in here. Not where it's supposed to be. Someone might think those are coloring pencils. That's what I thought they were at first. Oh, that's sweet for a gift card. 70 cents. It's a pretty good price. Oh man, someone in here. It was a little heavy handed with the uh, fragrance. I have the Port Mirian here. I've always enjoyed this. I think it's so pretty. I like this set. It's pretty. Oh, look at this little mushroom house. It's cute. Speaking of mushrooms, look how pretty these glasses are. The mushrooms. You know how I'm really into lemons in my kitchen? Look at this. It's for in the sink to protect glassware and stuff. $2.99. I'm here at Trader Joe's and they have ample stock of the daily facial sunscreen. This is a great dupe for the Super Goob Unseen, and it's only $8.99. This facial moisturizer is pretty decent too, only $5.99. Ooh, this is new, a fragrance-free body butter. Has anyone tried this? $5.49, not too bad. I've heard good things about their body butters. Also, this is new as well, the shampoo. cleansing and conditioning. They also have this new lemongrass moisturizing shampoo. Never seen that before. And the corresponding conditioner. They're also in on the lip mask trend. Theirs is vanilla, coconut oil, 
Hmm. Lemongrass coconut body oil is also new. Check out my recent video on shower oils. This looks interesting. So at Marshall's, I got something I have been looking for for the longest time. Placemats that are firm, not fabric, and that are lemon because I've had these coasters for some time. Hopefully that's in focus. I can't quite tell. Um, and this just matches perfectly. It's a set of four. I really like the rectangular placemats. I find that the circle ones don't um, work out as well for me here with the counter space I have. Let's see. Let's crack in. Oh, they don't really give you a place to pick the plastic off at. Usually a, usually like a seam. Yeah, these were $12.99. I like them because you can just wipe them off too. So they stay. Yeah, I almost got that thing to go in the sink, but I was like, eh, I don't need that. I'll probably just get on my nerves. <laughs> I don't like stuff in the sink that's like down in the sink. Like I've had that, I've had that strainer thing. I like that. I don't mind having that in there or that rack that I put over, but like stuff down in the sink gets on my nerves. Like I never put dishes in the sink. Um, I should, I don't like never, ever, ever, but I can't stand them in the sink. Perfect. Honestly, you have to just shop in Marshalls and Home Goods and TJ Maxx with an open mind. You can't go in there looking for something specific because if I went in, I swear, I go in there all the time. I always look for placemats in there and the one time I'm like not actively seeking them, they jump out at me, the ones that I have been looking for. Um, so yeah, you just have to always go in there with an open mind. I got these quite some time ago. I think that I got them at Home Goods. Home Goods, Marshalls, and one of one of the two, they're like all under the same umbrella, more or less, right? TJ Maxx. And at Trader Joe's, I went ahead and got a bag of their popcorn. I have been on such a popcorn cake, pop, popcorn cake, popcorn kick uh, as of late. Popcorn cake sounds pretty good. Um, let me know if you're a fan of those buttered popcorn jelly beans. I kind of like them. But yeah, I really been into popcorn been like my favorite snack. Well guys, I am all springy in my bright yellow lemon drop. I'm gonna call these lemon drop PJs. <laughs> lemon drop is such a cute name, right? I feel like it would be a cute name for like a little toy poodle or something, lemon drop. Uh, <laughs> I feel like the name is wasted on the alcoholic beverage. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. I just think it's kind of a cute, cute name or like it should be some sort of a type of a dance, the lemon drop. Uh, speaking of lemon, was it coming upon, um, you know, patio season, warm weather, be careful with lemon and lime in your drinks <laughs> because if that juice gets on your skin while you're out in the sun, it can cause a phytophotodermatitis. Um, and a lot of people don't realize it's happening they go inside and then they get this, you know, they see this rash coming out. Long streaks usually where the juice drip down. It's because of the furrow coumarins in the citrus. Um, so be careful in that regard with your drinks. You know me, I love my drinks. Speaking of lemon, lime, citrus, I have really been into, and I need to reorder actually, those true lime packets. Um, I get this variety pack on Amazon. It comes with a, a box of the lime packets, a box of the lemon, a box of grapefruit, and a box of orange. They are so versatile to have on hand. Like if you wanna judge up some water, just put one of those little packets in. All it is is crystallized lime or lemon. You know, you don't always have access to fresh squeezed limes and lemons. And I love a little lemon water. Um, so it's great in that regard, but it's also, they're also really handy to put in tea and you know, you can cook with them too. I love them. And that way you don't have to deal with juicing, juicing the lemon. 
The other lemon, man, I'm really telling you guys way too much information on my citrus uh, finds, but if you are a Costco member, I 10 out of 10 recommend the Italian Volcano lemon juice. It is so good. It's really good if you wanna make your own lemonade or like a lemon soda with, all you, all you need is like sparkling water, that stuff to splash on in and like your sweetener of choice and all of a sudden you have a refreshing lemon soda. Um, oh man, left it out in the other room, I'll be right back. I filmed a little Sephora video for you guys because um, it's the Sephora sale time and I included in that video, which it should be up at this point, I'm thinking I'll probably put it up the, the Friday before this video goes live. So check it out. It would have gone up, well, yesterday. The Moroccan Oil Hydrating Styling Cream. This was a 2022 hair care favorite and I've since repurchased it. I really adore it. I've been alternating between this and the Briogeo Farewell Frizz. Both products are really good for cutting down on frizz, but this one is a bit more of like a, almost a conditioning type product. And one thing I didn't mention in the Sephora video I filmed today is that the other thing I find this is useful for is like if you want to style your hair and you, you want to kind of smooth down the little wispies up here, you can just put a little bit on. You can put it on to dry hair if you want to. So it's really versatile and it smells wonderful. I love to have my hair smell good. <laughs> you know, I have to shampoo my scalp every night because otherwise my hair is really oily um, pretty easily. I mean, you have such a high density of oil glands up there that it's, you know, it's an area that needs attention on a frequency with which your hair type and scalp uh, tolerate, of course. But for me, I need to do it every night. But the other reason I enjoy shampooing is I feel like I feel like I can't go to sleep without having a freshly shampooed scalp. I feel like I sleep better. I, I don't know if it's all in my head, but I, I definitely feel like I sleep much better. Even if I get in the shower and just wet my hair and you know rub my scalp with just the water and don't shampoo my hair, even then I don't feel like I'm, I'm fully clean. I don't feel completely clean unless I've shampooed my scalp. I'm gonna do a little moisture sandwich tonight and I'm coming on over. This is the Hydro Boost water cream. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys think of the water cream? I, I've been mostly using the water cream, but I also really like the water gel. So, you know, Neutrogena used to have the Hydro Boost um, Extra Dry that I loved so much. It was fragrance free and they discontinued it, which is a bummer, but in its place, they came out with the water cream and the water gel, both of which are fragrance free, which as a side note, Neutrogena has been doing a lot more fragrance free, which I greatly appreciate. Um, I like this cream though, because it has the natural moisturizing factors, whereas the Hydro Boost gel cream did not. The texture is kind of interesting. Here, I'm just gonna put a little bit more on. The texture is kind of interesting in comparison to the old Hydro Boost. Let me know what you guys think, if you've tried it. Um, but I really like it. Put a little on my neck too. Why not? Stay hydrated. I need to reorder. I finished the La Roche-Posay Cicaplast gel I've been putting around my eyes. I need to reorder another tube of that because I'm telling you, that stuff really plumps up the skin around the eyes and I, I just love it. Anyway, y'all, I'm gonna wrap this vlog up here. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend. Come back for tomorrow's vlog so you don't miss a moment of my exciting adventures. But uh, yeah, tomorrow's Easter here. So in the vlog tomorrow, I'll take you guys along with me. So come back for that. But if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.